I'm Laura Brown, Editor-in-Chief of InStyle Magazine. Welcome to my office. Why do you wear so much black if you can't control your lint? Are we good? Nothing tells a story about anybody more than the clothes they wear, because guess what? If you're a movie star or little old me, you think about what you put on it in the morning. Or late right, in the so morning, whether you get up. Black. Dirty Laundry is about the stories behind clothes told to me by lovely ladies and some dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I like, ugh, the door. Show me your dirty laundry. I'm Laura Brown, Editor-in-Chief of InStyle Magazine, and this is Dirty Laundry. That is Alexa Chung. Alexa, yeah. what does fashion mean to you? Everything I do has something to do with aesthetics, and uh, my main expression is through clothing. Mm -hmm. I don't really think of it as fashion. I'm always just like, I like this item of clothing. Mm -hmm. I, I think I consume fashion in a more like practical and humdrum way. To me, my relationship with clothes is more of a like day-to-day -day street style -y. Could you imagine a day when, if you're how you could be a street style star, if you were a shut-in? What would you do then? I'd use Instagram. You would, wouldn't you? Wouldn't I? You'd be street wouldn't styling I? all oh. over your living room. But the issue there is I don't have any mirrors in my apartment. No, no I, mirrors? No, I have a mirror in my bathroom, but it's like from here up. Yeah, okay. And then I have like kind of a very old uh, full-length mirror I found on the street in my bedroom, but it's covered in clothes. So I, I never <laughs> know what I look like until I catch myself in a window as I'm walking down Avenue A. Alexa's mirror covered in clothes. <laughs> what is the worst photograph ever taken of you by a pap and can I have it? You know, sometimes you see pap pictures of um, of people on holiday on a yacht and yes. they all look so glorious. It's always like a VS model or, yes. you know. I had that picture done, but I was on like a small kind of like dinghy, dinghy boat that we had for the day. No top on because it was in Spain and I'm getting back on the boat with my snorkel half on <laughs> and just like from behind again, which might like... You would artfully askew. But anyway, now I'll just always wear, you know, a full suit. <laughs> Victorian style knitted, knitted. Um, onesie. Knitted from Victorian people. Aren't you hot? People. No, I'm fine. I just feel great. When did fashion take your life and start eating it whole? <laughs> Swallowing me whole. Mm -hmm. um, I was always interested in fashion when I was much younger. In fact, during a careers counsellor um, session, they asked me what I wanted to be, and I wanted to be a fashion journalist, and that was mm. at 15. So. I did sort of, uh, I was intrigued by it. And then I started modeling and I thought actually, I think because of the level of modeling I was doing, it was very commercial and it was like probably not the best. Like this? Yeah, a lot of teen magazines and mm -hmm. such like. It was really fun, but it wasn't like, I, I wasn't particularly inspired. And I thought, oh, maybe this industry isn't for me after all. And then I started TV presenting and, uh, you know, was more interested in music and, mm -hmm. Um, interviewing people for a living. And then fashion kind of came back around and s swallowed me up. <laughs> so this is, this, I it am It spooked fashion. me from behind. Ah! <laughs> Have you ever liberated any clothes? No, I've never stolen anything. Just you know. maybe something that's been on a shoot and you've gone, oh, that's cute. And no, 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 never that. But I have held on to samples longer than I should have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's such a luxury to be in a situation where sometimes people lend you things. Yes. But but the the sad thing is often you've fallen in love with it by the time they come to collect it again. And, and, and you're like, but do you really need it? Because well, you may, and I are so happy together. I may have played the like, I, I, I just don't know where it is. I think it's in my, I think it's in, I don't know where it is. Oh, I'm so sorry. But no, it's, I'm not a stealer. No. You're not. I'm, a, I'm an honest woman. Only of hearts. Okay. Show me your dirty laundry, which may be, in fact, actually dirty. No, it's filthy. It does smell Great. bad. Great. We'll do a sniff test. Okay. Mommy! Oh, is this from Prada? That's from Prada Men's. I bought it in the men's section. How long ago? I only bought it maybe two or three months ago, but I've literally worn it enough for a lifetime. Why did you buy this? I bought this because I was in London. I think I was killing time between meetings. That's what and happens. I, I got lured into the Prada store and I don't know, I, I just felt like I couldn't leave without it. Sometimes I have this thing with clothes where it's so meant to be that it's almost boring to buy it. It's like buying it. socks or something. You're just like, oh yes, it's right. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was expensive, but I have worn it enough to sort of justify the cost. I think. Let's see. Oh, look. 
It makes me happy just you draping it's adorable. it adorable. <laughs>Okay, next up. This actually is dirty. And it's oh, got great. hairs on it. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Let's so have a go on that. Hmm. It's fine. smell like dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a ah. T-shirt from my friend Tennessee's shop called The Deep End Club. And this one says, in solidarity. And I just love it. I love the logo. And who are you in solidarity with? With Tennessee, yep. I guess, when I'm wearing this. When did you last wear it? Literally, I think I wore this on the plane back from Paris to New York. Got it. So a minute ago. A minute ago. Still fresh. It is a bit smelly, I'm sorry. It's really not. But I wear it a lot. I, I don't know, it's really lovely. How many t-shirts do you have? I have so many t-shirts that uh, I kind of, they're rolled together and sort of stacked. And occasionally I'll like pull the front layer out and then I'll discover a back oh. a back bench which have been neglected but that are equally great. A world of wonder. Yeah. Mm. Do you buy them a lot? Yes. I do. I like a vintage tea. I think that's why I like this. It's new but it looks old. Yeah. This feel, it just yeah. also feels very soft. Yeah, I like it. I think I'm going to rip this one off. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. I don't want this one though because... Yeah. All right, next. This is a um, little jacket mm -hmm. I got. It's a vintage one. I've had it for a few years and uh, I love it. How often do you wear it? Not that often, but I travel with it a lot because I like to look at it. Sometimes I just hang it in the room I'm in just to make me feel like I'm at home. Is it reversible? Yes. Not. Is it? Yeah. <gasps> Please hold. Look, it is. I is, never actually reverse it. I should. This is, this is Alexa Chung doing styling. Look at this right now. Well, my dream is to have a Watch completely out, reversible hey. wardrobe. Are you going to do it? No, because it costs twice as much to make this oh, stuff. Oh, see, look at that. Look at your tones. Too much? <laughs> Never. OK, next. Chanel. Press. It's not just press, but it's like London. So it's going to London, but it's from France, hence the press. Well, I, I like interviewed Karl Lagerfeld many years ago, and I was allowed to borrow an outfit to do this on-camera interview right. with him. And then they let me keep it. But this has been much copied, hasn't it? I mean, most yeah. shops. I think have it's made part of the flag. Oh, but no, yeah, it's got the little look. See, but see, this is the detail. See, that makes a difference. Um, how often do you wear this? A lot, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Does it smell too? Yeah, it really does. Because I don't think I've ever washed it. Dear God. It. Does it? No. I don't think I smell no, bad. You don't. I don't think I smell. You bad. smell like dreams. Big dreams. Oh my gosh, I just got on the <laughs> What's that? These are my oh. friend's mm. granddad's jeans. Explain how you got them. Yeah, I will. Because this sounds wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> my friend called me up one day and was like, uh, I got a bunch of my grandpa's jeans from like the olden days and they're all girl sizes, so I'm giving them to all my girl pals. 501s. So a bunch of us got them and that's my pair. That's so cool. Yeah. Only you could have someone else's grandfather have a bunch of perfect vintage 501s and wear them. Yeah. They're very annoying. Yeah, I, I feel I'm very, I'm annoying very excited person. by that. Yeah, so they're cool and they fit perfectly and I love them. But they're non-stretch as well, so they do oh. feel a bit less comfy than your modern fare. So you can't do lunches? No, it, you can't do lunches either. <laughs> <gasps> Hello, Zsa Zsa now, Chung. I haven't worn this much, but I love it. It's so festive. And I, I plan on wearing it a lot, but it's new. Is this Prada too? Yeah. It looks very much like, let me slip into something more comfortable, Rock Hudson. Yeah. <gasps> oh, it's ever so fetching. Isn't it lovely? Where do you wear it? Just with jeans in the, the day. Like do like just in the day? Like I think Avenue that, for a? example, yeah, because that is so fancy that it's funnier to wear it in the daytime than it would be at night. At exactly. night, it would just look a bit weird. What do you love about Marabou? I think it's funny because it doesn't seem like something I would like. No. So that's why I like it. No, it really is like 1958. Yeah, it's like... too like proofy for me and like, I don't know, it hints to an old Hollywood glamour kind of thing, I think. Can you wear it as a... You could do that. Could it's very I? Jean Shrimpton 60s. <gasps> you know what I look that's like? That's actually quite nice. Animal! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I right. like it though. Thank you. Thank you, I'm always teaching you things. Oh, yes. Oh, come on, why does it look like a thing when you do it? I don't think it does. It's okay, you're dripping in diamonds. Life's good. 
There you go. What's the most non-you thing that you own, you? I do have a lot of sexy slips. Do you? Yeah. What would you use those for? I was in Palm Springs recently at a friend's wedding and I was staying with a bunch of friends there and uh, my mate pointed out, he was like, Chunk, why have you got a different like slip on every day? It's like giving it the sass in the morning. Oh, did you? Were you like, did you come pr prowling out? I think it's just more like that kind of 90s. Yep. Are you in that line, side? trendy scenario, maybe. Mm. But, you know, boys just see that as just like sexy, see-through thing. Yeah, so. well. I'm You're sure like, no, I'm very on trend, actually. I'm sure that never passed your mind. Hey, what else? Oh, is this from your collection? Yes, it is. Yeah. And you made this one. Look at this. Look at this groovy collar. I love that collar. It's like tray 70s, but mm -hmm. modern. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me about this shirt. How do you, what do you think? I feel like a kind of 70s, Aussie Clark-esque mm -hmm. blouse is something that is quite classic and mm -hmm. easy to wear. You know, it was an opportunity for us to make something quite feminine, but also, I don't know, I think it represents the brand in that it's both, it's low key, but girly, but also tomboyish. That's very good. You know, what well, you love a lively print. I love You're... a lively print and I love these colours. Um, I looked at like old William Morris wallpapers and their kind of colour arrangement. Oh. And that's how we got you, this. Look at you giving thought. Well, mm. you know. No, I'm going to say, very, very thoughtful, really great taste, makes great things. And now to have a whole line of things with your name on it, it is great. And we've been waiting for this. Thanks very much. Thank you for everything that you're giving me. It gives me anxiety. But that's nice. Yes. I love that. It's nice, isn't it? Yes. Next up. What's this jazzy thing? This is a little tank top. Is that a crop top? It is a bit cropped, yeah. It's a mohair y, fluffy, stripy tank top. Okay, tell me why your label now? Because you've dabbled in other, you know, you've flirted mm. with others. I have. Why did you get married? I got married because I fancied the commitment, actually. Did you? I started maturing and feeling like I wanted to sort of anchor myself to something, and I felt like it was a good place to house all of my interests as well. Like, I, I really wanted to make clothes. I yeah. love art directing. I don't know, I'd had experience in doing all of the things that it takes to make a fashion line, and then I wanted to apply that knowledge. And Where can we get it? You can get it, uh, I mean, online. We've have, we have 50 retailers. But you can buy it in my own, on my own website. And alexachung.com. All right, ooh. This is jaunty. a little suit. This is like a ringmaster, I mean, but like a chic one. I must say, we have made plainer things, but these are the more, bother. the more wacky Don't end of the bother. spectrum. Where are you going to wear this one? I mean, I'd wear that anywhere, really. Oh, you kind of would, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, yes. You know, honestly, ringmaster of chic. It's the Beatles suit. You know, no one will ever tell you that you look pants. Oh, uh, very good. Do they say pants here? No. <laughs> Can you explain what pants means? Pants means just a bit rubbish, which means trash, which doesn't mean trashy. It's just like a bit uh, subpar. So pants. if you look pants, pants, it's to mean underpants, like knickers, like. If you mean pants, like buy. I'm Laura Brown. This is Dirty Laundry. That's Alexa Chung. She's occasionally clean. Thank you. Welcome.